Hello friends, I am Shushant Raghavan. Welcome to Technical and Quality Session. For understanding the technical requirements and quality standards in clothing industry, making a sustainable garment, I have good practical experience in the apparel manufacturing sector. My skills are CAD pattern making, sample development, technical requirements, and measuring quality performance. Today's session is about what is acceptable quality level in the apparel industry. For more sessions like this, do like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's begin the presentation. What is acceptable quality level AQL? Acceptable quality level in the apparel industry. What is acceptable quality level AQL? The acceptable quality level AQL is a statistical measurement of the maximum number of defective goods considered acceptable in a particular sample size. In quality control, AQL refers to the maximum allowable number of defects per unit that a lot can have and still be considered acceptable for delivery to the customer. Acceptable quality level is calculated with the size of each lot and defined as a percentage or number. Acceptable quality level varies depending on the buyer and product. Generally, the critical the product, the higher the AQL. Levels of acceptable quality level AQL. There are three levels for acceptable quality level. Depending on these levels, sample number is decided for a product. Example for a lot or batch size, 3201 to 10,000 pieces. AQL level 1. If the manufacturer has passed all the previous quality inspection successfully, then the buyer may decide to follow AQL level 1. In AQL level 1, sample code J, only 80 samples are inspected. Although it takes less time and money, AQL level 1 is risky and is generally not followed. AQL level 2. This is the standard inspection level. In AQL level 2, sample code L, 200 samples are inspected for a lot size of 3201 to 10,000 pieces. AQL level 3. This is a stricter inspection level. Sample code M, a total of 315 samples is checked that are randomly selected. It takes more time and money to follow AQL level 3. AQL level 3 is generally used in the case of high value products. Sampling plan of AQL. There are three types of sampling plans in acceptable quality level AQL. Single sampling plan, double sampling plan and multiple sampling plan. Symbols and abbreviations. AC acceptance number RE rejection number D number of non conforming items or non conformities found in a sample from a lot N sample size What is single sampling plan? When the acceptance or rejection decision of a lot is taken based on a single sample collection plan then it is called single sampling plan Example lot or batch size 501 to 1200 equal 2.5 The sample code letter is J The number of acceptance AC is 5 The number of rejection RE is 6 If the number of defective units D is equal to or less than 5 then the lot will be accepted and if the defective unit D is equal to or more than 6 then the lot will be rejected what is double sampling plan? When the decision of acceptance or rejection of a lot or batch size is taken based on two sets of samples, then it will be called double sampling plan. It is especially useful when the first sample size is neither good nor bad and it is difficult to take a final decision based on the first sample size. But if the first sample size is really bad, defective unit D is more than RE then the lot can be rejected without inspecting the second set of samples. Example, lot or batch size 1201 to 3200 at equal 2.5. The sample size code letter is K. Size of the first sample N1 equal to 80. If defective unit of N1 is equal to or less than 3, then the whole lot should be accepted. If the number of defective unit in N1 equal to D1 is 4, 5 or 6, then take second sample size N2 equal to 80 pieces. 
now defective unit in the second sample size n2 equal to d2 if d1 plus d2 is equal to or less than 8 then the lot will be accepted if d1 plus d2 is equal to or more than 9 then the lot will be rejected what is multiple sampling plan when the decision of acceptance or rejection decision of a lot is taken based on multiple sets of samples then it will be called multiple sampling plan the procedure shall be similar to that specified in double sampling plan except that the number of successive samples required to reach a decision might be more than 2 in ISO 2859 there are 5 stages so that a decision will be reached by the 5th stage at the least inspection levels in acceptable quality limit AQL each type of sampling plan can follow 3 inspection level inspection level normal inspection tighten inspection and reduced inspection formula for percent non-conforming and non-conformities per 100 units percent non-conforming or percentage defective equal to number non-conforming divided by number of units inspected into 100 non-conformities per 100 units or DHU equal to number of non-conformities divided by number of units inspected into 100 one or more defects are possible in any unit of product what is normal inspection this type of inspection is conducted under normal conditions normal inspection will be used at the start of inspection unless otherwise directed by the responsible authority no excess time money required for normal inspection what is tighten inspection when normal inspection is in effect Tighter inspection shall be instituted when two out of five consecutive lots or batches have been non-acceptable on original inspection. That is ignoring resubmitted lots or batches for this procedure. Required excess time and money and it is also not good for the image of the manufacturing company. What is reduced inspection? It is the opposite of tightened inspection. It means the sample size for inspection will be smaller than the normal sample size. If the initial quality reports of 10 preceding lots are highly satisfactory and if it is marked as sufficiently good then this type of inspection can be used. Required less time than normal inspection. AQL in garments or apparel industry. In the garments or apparel industry AQL level 2 is used which means 200 samples are inspected. For apparel defects are classified into four categories. For these defects, different inspection levels are used. Critical defect. Defects when accepted could harm or injury the users. Such defects are unacceptable. Critical defects are defined as 0% AQL. A shipment with only one critical defect unit will therefore fail an inspection. Major defect. Defects usually not acceptable by the end users as they are likely to result in return or failure the equal for major defect is 2.5 percent minor defect defects not likely to reduce materially the usability of the product for its intended purpose but that differs from specified standards some end users will still buy such products the equal for minor defect is 4 percent slight defect defect can only be identified by the manufacturer and the buyer equal level 6.5 percent is used Thank you for watching. For more sessions like this, do like and subscribe to my channel. Please comment your valuable thoughts. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified when I post a new presentation. Bye, have a good day.